Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. And so I was having problems cabling up this um, machines for the industrial craft and tech reborn. Well I figured it out so let's go and have a look at how we sort that out first of all. Basically I wasn't able to connect these two machines. I had to connect them like that didn't I? But <clears throat> what I want to do now is I want to charge up this tool I've got in my hand. I've got a little bit of charging now. I figured out how to do it. So, And I was trying with transformers and all sorts of things. And I think the transformer I was doing wrong. And I think what you've got to do with the transformer is it's got to be down sort of like oh, wrong one. Actually, let's put that there. Then we can put the transformer on, or the back on it like that. And then that connects up to the front here. That's, that definitely looks like it's connected, doesn't it? And the bat, the bat box is, is connected to both sides, so that's pretty good. The bat box, I think all I have to do is put it down like like that. And has it got any power in it? Oh, it's getting power in. Simple as that. It's the output is this side, and every other side is the input. So that's where I was having a bit of a problem. Anyway, I can charge up this tool now and put it in like that. So now it's full. And the mode is lossless. Now you can change the mode. I think you just shift right click on it. I'm not 100% sure. Um, is it right click? It should tell me in the bottom window. Well, oh, I've forgotten how to do it. Alt right click. No, control right click. No, shift right click. No, control shift right click. I thought there was a special key. Let's have a look. Oh, it might be mode. Uh, it's not mode. Ah, that's it. It's normally M for mode, but we have to do it through. The, we have to change the options. We have to go to controls. We have to look down here, and I changed it because Industrial Craft 2 was the mode switch. So I've set it to U. You see, it's got a reset that's highlighted, which actually sort of works. So if I then go and type U, I think it's U and Shift U, or is it just U? And right click it. it says lossless mode disabled. And then lossless mode. So what I'm doing is holding down the U and pressing the right click on the thing here. So now lossless mode is enabled, which means that I can put down industrial craft machines and not break them when I take, pick them up again. So here we've got a geothermal generator, which is another device. And all I needed to do for this one was to put it, say, down here like that. And then it would get lava in, and the lava would then fill in here like that. So it then gives it power. Now, to pick it up again, all I have to do is shift right click it here and it doesn't break. I still have the geothermal generator with me. And the same is true for all the other machines, to be honest with you. We'll put it down. So that's how it does it. And you'll see that already, just after moving one machine, it's used up all the power. So let's just put it back into this thing and charge it up again. Oh. That's an interesting number, a bit of a roundup error. Oh, that's there. That's a bit of a roundup error on that one. Is it actually? Oh, it's now empty of power, so it's probably filled this up anyway. So we can put it, maybe I push some power into the system doing it like that. So we'll put it back in again. It doesn't take very few seconds to charge up. We charge it up. But you can't change the mode when it's actually not fully charged or very nearly fully charged. So that's that problem sorted out. Now, in here we're making something, forgotten what we're making. Oh yes, we're making some circuits, weren't we? So, at the moment it's working like this, I think it's probably just making standard advanced circuits now. We had to make 32. So let's have a look at how many advanced circuits we've got in here. 28. That makes around about sense, doesn't it? So another 4 or so, and then we've got our 32. So what were we doing for that? Let's have a look. At the quest stuff so because I've, you know, it's been a few days since I played, and I think we were doing this one. No, we're trying to do the steel hull, aren't we? That's a steel hull. Oops, let's go back again. I want to see this um, done. I want to have a look at. I want to do this as well. So for this, we need a blueprint projector, so and some. What were the other bits we needed for that? Just the two things. So they're blueprints, weren't they? So we need a blueprint projector, and we should see that like that. So that's made 
one redstone lamp, that should be fairly easy, one pane of glass and some projector lenses. So let's actually craft that out first of all. So we need two of these. One, two, good. Go back again. One of these. So that should make the lens now. Good. And then we can take the that we shouldn't have a problem with the redstone lamp. Close them lock. We should be able to do that straight away. Yep. So we might be able to make this now. Yep, fantastic. One blueprint projector. So the other thing we need to make is a, a fusion a fusion chamber blueprint and a fission chamber blueprint. And they're both made with 30 blocks of um, iron and one ender pearl. For both of them are. So. so let's go and do that. I've actually prepared that. We've got the stuff over here. So we've got two of those and... Oops, I missed... I need one, four of those out of the way, don't I? I need, we only need 60. Ah, what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to put it in like this. And I am going to put in it just one of the ender pearls. Because then we can choose which one we'll do. So we'll do the fishing chamber one first of all. So I'll select that. Unfortunately, you can't see it selected. It's the same is true with these molds. The molds are actually a real pain because if you've got that selected, you use up all your blocks of um, ingots very fast and everything just disappears. So in fact, that will be done very shortly. I don't think it uses that much power. Let's have a look how much power it uses. Yeah, 500,000 RF. It's really just done like that. So that's already... I have to select it, don't I? So we can deselect the snow, the circuit should have finished. Let's double check that. All right, so the circuits have now finished. Ah, oh, yes, that's good. Oh, that's selected. So the fission chamber one selected. So now we want to put this one in here. And then we want to select the fusion chamber blueprint, I think is the one we want. We'll turn it off again. So we should have in the system now those two blueprints. So let's get those out of the system here. Spell it with a B. <laughs> Goodness. I seem to have a bit of an obsession of pressing P. So there we have our two blueprints and the projector. So let's go and claim that quest. Detect submit. So we just get 10 XP for that one and done. But we also open up this one. Where we've got to make 98 tungsten plating. So let's have a look at how we do that. We get an illumination wand as, a, as present. Well, since we've already got one of those, we don't really need that reward but we would like to get these things so I'm just going to stand over here and get rid of my XP make it keep it nice and safe oh I did put another tag down here to make some capacity to store that XP down as well so tungsten plating how do we do that I know this is going to be expensive because if it wasn't expensive it would be a big shock here we go, tungsten plating. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Did I say that's going to be expensive? Well, I think that's five blocks of silver, ten, ten blocks of tin, ten blocks of aluminium, ten blocks of lead. Oh my goodness, we got 98 of these. So we need 980 blocks of copper. Oh, I don't think I could even do that. We'll see what happens. Goodness gracious me. So that's pretty expensive. So I do need some automation on that. Definitely. Um, how are we going to do that? That's how much have look? How much have we got in here? So, might be over fifty in fuel. That's fuel. Thousand shiny, and then something's going flashing. A little bit of oil that'll be flashing as I'm processing uh, moon dirt. Two thousand of those tin liquefied coal we basically got more than a thousand of each of those so maybe we have enough so right the other one was i'm also working on was the steel hull wasn't i i just can't believe that tungsten plating one right we'll leave that one like that we'll look for the hole as well so the steel hull so we've now got 
but we think we've got most of these things. We need machine parts and coal chunks. Now, coal chunks is an obsidian surrounded by compressed coal. Compressed coal is a coal ball in here. So the coal is basically one flint. I wonder how many of these we can get. Have we got any flint in here? I don't think we have, actually. Oh, we've got 28. Well, that is nowhere near enough. So let's go and make some more flint. Flint's actually easy. Silicon dark side's one way, and the other way is to pulverize. Is it pulverize? Uh, sag mill um, gravel. So if I put this into the sag mill, where's the sag mill gone to? Here at the back. I haven't always have got this a bit automated, but not too much. So I put that into there like that. And out, co out will come flints. So the flints will come through fairly fast. I could do speeding this up, actually. Hmm. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll make a... Let's have a look what we've got for... Um, capacitors. I've got 12 capacitors. Now, I think the uses of these with two blocks of energetic alloy uh, we should be able to make one double air capacitor okay now have I got any energetic alloy in the system I might have because I was making it before well actually I have 18 that's enough to make uh, let's take this bar out by the way get 28 of those that is actually enough to make two blocks so put two back I'll take that and then we can actually put these into the assembly machine and make a circuit a uh, circuit a double layered capacitor like that but I think that's fairly cheap yeah it was F too fast it would it's already gone into the system so let's put this double layer capacitor into there in the first place um, there it is It'll speed it up. It won't make a huge difference until we actually put in a, an octet capacitor, but, you know, it'll make better than nothing. So let's put that in there. And you'll see the speed of this suddenly increases a bit. So let's come back over here. Now, I don't know how many of these we need, but let's go and have a look at how many we got. Let's try again. Let's have a look for circuits. I've got 32 of those. That's good. And recipe for this one it's really weird how that's happening so we need quite a few of these don't we so let's have a look at the machine hole again block of tungsten where's it gone to it should be there oh there yes it is it's just yeah, there it is hard to see so we need 32 coal chunks so we need this, we need basically eight 32s. That's four stacks, isn't it, to make that one. And this one is just compressed. Okay, that's not such a problem. So we need four stacks of this. We've got almost one stack. So we'll have to wait a bit. But we can start this working anyway. Compresses this one, isn't it? Yes. And in fact, this will go up fairly fast because I've got two speed upgrades in there. It's not massive, but it's it does help a bit. What else do we have in there? We've got 62 advanced alloys. Now, I think, let's go over here and put into this chest the bits that we need for this steel hull. So we've got 32 circuits, one bedrock, bedrockian plate let's just have, see if i can do it like this 32 dash blocks of dash 32 blocks of dash which i didn't pick up with me let's go and get that because i should have some blocks of dash Um, that isn't going to be 
be enough, is it? Okay, that's not good. <laughs> Unless I've got somewhere else. Some other places where I'm storing some dash. I don't know. Let's have a look. That was all the dash I got in there, wasn't it? Okay. Let's do it like... I can't press the thing. That's going to give me 7, 14, 16 or so. 15. Right. We need another 17 of those before we get to our 32. Well, we'll put what we got in here anyway. What else do we need for this? We need machine parts, 32 aluminium, uh, advanced alloys, that's not such a problem. We've got half of those plus one, that's 32 of those. And then we need um, some carbon, which I've done already, I think. That was fairly straightforward. That was just carbon mesh, which we compressed. And we've got 32 of those, good. So we put those into here as well. What else do we need for this? I'm putting them in the same order as we're getting those, so those circuits and then these coal chunks. Okay, circuits and then the coal chunks, which we haven't made yet. So it's actually, um, I wonder if we've got any dash in here or somewhere like that. Well, I'm sure I should have some in around. No. Well, let's get rid of this. I don't need all everything I've got with me here. Let's remove those. I'm just being hesitant because I don't want to fill everything up with what I've got in here. So let's uh, come into here. And that's probably finished. Good. It's, oh, we've got lots of stacks of that now. So we maybe we're all right. We don't need to do too much more flint. And I'm going to put them in it. No, I'll leave it like that. Because that's going to take a while to process, that so doesn't really matter that much. I've got to also think about how I'm going to do the blocks as well. So, we needed some, what was the recipe again? We're doing the whole, aren't we? This one, this one, this one, and this one. That's a second stack. We've got to do four. Four stacks, haven't we? I think. I'm not 100% sure. It's, it's got to divide it by eight. Oops. Let's get this compressing anyway. 23. I could actually do some speed upgrades. Let's get the speed grubs upgrades out of here and put them into here because we're not using those at the moment. And as you can see, that makes things go considerably faster. We need 32 of those. So we do need four stacks of this. So I'm actually short of about, not very many actually, about 10 or something like that. It was 56 if I remember rightly. Let's take those out of there. Let's take another stack of those into that and put the other gravel in here because I don't, I know I don't need all of it, which is good. I prepared the gravel because I was making sand and glass. So that was right. Okay, so we need that's the third stack. I'll just do it like this. See, I was making this because I was making. Oh, we ran out already. Goodness. I think that'll be insufficient. Phew. That's a lucky one. And the next one, the machine. All of these things are just incredibly expensive. Oh, that's good timing. So we've got 64. That'll make 16. I just have to wait. So what else do we need for this thing here? We need the tech tech parts, steel machine hole. We need this one. So we need 32 dense and one silicon plate to make, this is dense refined iron, to make one machine part. And we need 32 machine parts. This is um, really expensive, <laughs> to say the least. It's incredibly expensive recipe. I was watching Nemson making his videos and I was thinking, he's got it easy, this is a lot harder. <laughs> so anyway, we've got, we should have it in, no, that's just that, that. I don't think I, I think I put everything into the system, didn't I? Let's go upstairs. 
refined alloy. I've got ooh, dense refined alloy. I've got 128. Um, that will make two. Wow. <laughs> Let's ask it to make some more refined alloy while we're at it. How many have we got here? Five, six, seven. I really could do with nine. And we've got some silicon plates too. And I haven't got a res an automation for silicon plates. I should really set it up because it isn't that difficult. Um, so we can't compress those. We need to roll, make plates. That'll do in here. So actually, I can automate that, can't I? Because I've got in here the interface, and I've got a recipe for those. Okay, so we just need a recipe for the plates now. So let's do that. That isn't too difficult. I don't think I've got any. I've got three more patterns. Good. So what we need is basically saying one of these will make one plate. I think, yes. So we can take that out of there like that and then go and put this into the machine here. And we shall tell it to make a lot of these. Now we've also got to make sure it's on the right thing, which it is. Let's go and tell it to make. Hmm, how many are we going to ask it to make? Well, I don't really want to count because it's just like 32 times. 32 is a big number. So we'll we'll ask for. Um, hmm, let's have a look. Plates. Two fifty. No, one or two four. Start that. So that'll make a few in the meantime, and we can forget about doing the rest of it. In fact, I can put these items away now, can't I? Yes, that's maintaining its stuff. So, what I'm going to do now we can we've got these we need to make some silicon plates I think I'm going to set up some automation for that so silicon's fairly easy so all we need is a synthesizer I think we just need one synthesizer and some a2 bits and pieces what have we got in here nothing we need an ME interface I'll take the other bits with me anyway cables we should have on us yes we've got what is it cables Okay, good. And we'll need some power cables, which I've got here. That's good. And I think that's all I need for the time being. Now, where are we going to put this? This row's got a bit full. No, I haven't checked this for a while. Let's just go and see if this is actually working. Oh, it's run out of silicon. It's not going to work. Oh, it's run out of silicon. That's um. What I'm going to do here is remove the book as it happens. We'll put the book down here. Oh, it was actually make it was actually making because that's now started to get silicon into it. Good, it'll get one stack's worth and then it'll stop. Let me put this book. Let's put this book in here. So, how am I going to do that? Then? Let's have a look. I think this row is full. I would like to extend it beyond here. Let's go and do it this way. I think. Uh, now I need the power, don't I? So I'll probably better do it from this side. So let's just ten, extend it out a bit. <laughs> not what I wanted to do. Select, never mind. I'm not, it's not the first time I've done that. I thought it got fibre selected. And I think normally I put in two pieces, don't I, like that. So that should be enough to separate the machines. We don't really need access to the machines. So let Let's put this one on top of that, like that. Good. So now we need, a, on top of this, we're going to have to put a, an ME interface. And of course, we're going to need an output, but we'll, we'll test an import bus here. We'll make sure everything runs before we do that. So here we'll bring the cable around here. 
what I'm going to do with this cable is I'll drag it through the front of these machines because I'm probably going to need to set up more automation anyway, so like that. So that should now have power. It's got no recipe. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up some, a recipe first of all. In fact, I'll make a new book, a new chemist journal, but I do need to also get this connected in as well. How am I going to connect that up? Probably from here, I suspect, is probably the easiest way. How did I do it last time? I sent it out all the, around the back here. Okay, we can do the same thing. So if we basically connect the fiber cables here, and then that way, and then in, and first time on this chest, it's easier to reach. Go up here, uh, that way, yes. And then that way, we connect up, fantastic. And I think that's a good route. So what I'm going to do is going to remove this one from in here. Let's just right click that one. It can't work. I can't shift right click it. I think this is one of the cases where I've got to do it some differently. Um, we'll use the other tool. But it doesn't matter for the time being. Even if it's got two connections. So we're going to put in there the recipe. and we, So we need a pattern and we also need the recipe book. So let's do that first of all. Let's go and I'm not sure if I've got enough if I've got a book in this system, I think I might have. I've got one book, fantastic. And one piece of glass. So we can get a chemist journal. So we need to make a silicon plate. And I think that's two pieces of silica in the top left or something like that. Let's have a look what we've got in here. That's plutonium. Take the book out of there so it doesn't keep that recipe when I make the stuff. Silicon dioxide, we've got to take a stack of silicon dioxide and, de and decompose it. Now, if I'm not mistaken, it was just two silica in the top left hand corner and makes one plate. It does. So we should have a plate down in here now. We've got 10, yes, good. And we can put a plate in here with the book. So this is the empty one, and this is the one we can put. The Silicon plating like that, great. So we've got what we need for that one. I put these silicon plates into the system. Made 32, that's correct, one stack. So now we need a recipe to make. Um, oh, I need the plates, don't I? I've got 58, I want one plate there. I need two silicon, huh? And if you draw the silicon up, that was um, not smart. There we are. Never mind, we shall go and get two more silicon. That shouldn't be too difficult. We don't need this now. Put that away. Clear that off. Let's just go downstairs. We can get silicon from over here anyway. There should be some silicon in here. 64. Two. So that'll do fine. So this is the recipe for that one. Put that in the system, take that out, and then we've got our recipe for that one too. Fantastic. So we've actually got the two things we now need for, to complete the automation. So we'll put into here the recipe, put the pattern. So we've got the pattern now there. And then we need to put in here the uh, recipe book or the chemist journal with the oh, I haven't got it selected yet I need to select that like that I always forget to do that and put that into there so now we're asking we need to make let's make uh, how many do we need to make I actually need 32 stacks well just make let's make 100 and 320 of those Oh, we probably haven't got enough. That's how much silicon we've got in the system. Four. I think those are getting taken out somewhere, but I'm not sure where they're going to. I thought I had a... They shouldn't be coming out. Oh, they'll be going into that cache here, won't they? They'll be filling up this cache with silicon. And um, which one is it? This one. Oh, it's nearly finished, that one. 
I'll have to wait. I'm going to wait for that to finish and then we'll let that do its business. So. I think. Let's go and see if we can get some more of these done, by the way. Because obsidian is not a problem anyway. So we've got those should already be finished. They are fantastic. Let's stick the next stack of those in. So we've got one compressed. I think we've got two sets. Yes, we've got two of those now. So we, that one's nearly done. Hopefully we'll be able to finish it off. If not, we can always make grind up some more coal to get some more. That's no big deal. So let's make this into that. Have we got obsidian in here? We got 53, good. And that gives us our coal chunks. So let's put those in there. That'll give us 16 coal chunks. Like that. Oh, 16. Yep. So we're halfway there from two stacks. Oh, it's... I don't think coal coal chunks go down there so I'm going to have to go back to Mars and set up that quarry again because I need more dash to finish this off it's a bit of a surprise that actually I think all right so we basically got this row is completed and this corner is nearly completed it will be completed so the only thing we really need now oh, the hole go back to that hole because it's are these machine parts and we need 32 of those and we need 32 32s to make one. Well, that's a lot, isn't it? Right, okay. That's 16 stacks, basically, of each of those two. Woo. That's a lot of stuff, isn't it? And that was in... Which machine was that in? Forgotten already. Oh, wrong one. And the assembling machine. Okay, good. Let's see if we can... Before I go... We probably still haven't got any silicon in the system. Oh, maybe it's coming in now. Good. Oh, we have got some silicon. Let's make. What do we need? Eight. Yeah, eight. Let's make eight of these. And let's go downstairs and finish off this piece of automation here wherever it come to what we should have in here yep we've got our 16 silicon for our eight plates fantastic so all we now need to do is to put an import bus on the bottom of this like this and they should start to disappear from out of here good let's go and check the recipes now or the crafting status it's probably finished already That's making some, yep, that's fine. So that other one was finished. So let's get some more of these plates. We've got eight plates. So that's your eight and eight and make 64. Oh, I needed six. I couldn't count. I thought there was something wrong with my math. And it will need lots anyway. So we'll come over here now. We'll put this into the assembly machine, into this one. But I haven't got any. All oh, right, yes. This won't have any power in it because it's got no cable pipe and I've removed the pipe. What did I do with the pipe? So let's put, I think if we put that and that should give us two. Yes, it's already used up the power in there. So I just need another, oh dear, what's happened to that transfer pipe? I think in my playing around, I removed the transport pipe. Not in here? No. Let's quickly go and get that piece of transfer pipe. It should be in here. power this uses up it's actually not getting power in fast enough is it even with this machine here which I think is producing we well, probably could put us energy upgrade in that that's actually going up so it's making enough lava for that and it's doing this okay good well achieved a bit today quite a bit um, 
some of this is going to be really tough and I'm going to have to do some automation between now and the next episode or maybe not we'll do it together probably anyway until then I'm going to say bye for now